Friends, a blessed day to you all. Welcome to our daily reflection from the Archdiocese of Port of Spain in the Caribbean. We invite you to join us now as we bring this transformative power of God's word into our own reality at this time. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke 19, 41 to 44. As Jesus drew near Jerusalem and came in sight of the city, he shed tears over it and said, If you in your turn had only understood on this day the message of peace, but alas, it is hidden from your eyes. Yes, a time is coming when your enemies will raise fortifications all around you, when they will encircle you and hem you in on every side. They will dash you and the children inside your walls to the ground. They will leave not one stone standing on another within you, and all because you did not recognize your opportunity when God offered it. The Missed Opportunity If you had only understood the message of peace, I have no doubt that Jesus is weeping over the state of the world today. With two wars raging in the Middle East and Europe, and internal unrest and social dissatisfaction highlighted in many other parts of the world, the words of warning that jump out to us from today's gospel could very well apply to the 21st century cities and countries of our time. Are we not seeing enemies encircling and cutting off others from the access to basic needs? Are not children being dashed, buildings and homes being destroyed? Could his works of admonition also apply to us, I wonder apprehensively? Have we missed God's offer? There are many who would say that we have not understood the message of peace that it is hidden from our eyes. Have we failed to recognize the opportunity presented to us in our time? Has peace passed us by? I sincerely hope not. Let us continue to pray for an end to all wars and indeed all forms of injustice. May God in his loving kindness show us mercy. We bow our heads. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be, a world without end. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May he come long upon you, remain with you, preserve you from that evil one, and grant you everlasting life. And the people of God say, Amen. Do have a blessed and pleasant day.